everybody, it's my Esther Georgia. For our story time today, I'm going to be reading you a story called Warambi. And it's the story of a baby bat in Australia. Deep in a forest, hidden in a warm, dark cave, a tiny bat was born. Warambi was no bigger than a bean. Her eyes were sealed shut and there wasn't a scrap of fur on her body. By day, she drank her mother's milk or she slept, folded in her mother's soft wings. Every evening, the mother bats slipped outside to hunt for insects. The pups stayed in the cave, squeaking and squabbling. They crowded together to stay warm. Surrounded by her colony, Warambi was safe. Warambi grew bigger. Her eyes opened. Chocolate covered fur covered her speckly head and body. In the safety of her nursery cave, she practiced flying with the other pups until she was ready to go outside. Warambi's heart beat quickly as she flew into the night for the first time. She made sure she stayed close to her mother. She learned to see with her ears by making high-pitched clicks and listening to the echoes as they bounced back. She learned to cruise the sky searching for moths and beetles and other flying insects which she trapped in her teeth. She learned to sip from the stream by swooping low and dipping her mouth into the cool water. When their bellies were full, Warambi and her mother flew back to their roost. One day, the bat colony was woken by a terrible noise. The earth shook. Trees were ripped from the ground and came crashing down. Forest animals fled in panic. Inside the cave, Warambi huddled closer to her mother. Sunlight and metal burst into the darkness. The pups and their mothers squeaked in terror whirling and rearing about. In the confusion, Warambi was separated from her colony. Lost and alone, she flew on until she found a place to shelter. Her new roost was warm and dry, but it smelt strange. Scary sounds were all around her. As darkness fell, Warambi wrapped herself in her wings and she stayed very, very still. Warambi slept through the night and all the next day, but by dusk she was starving. That night and every night afterwards, Warambi flew out to hunt. But danger was never far away. Warambi grew used to her new home but she was lonely and often afraid. One night, the scary sounds grew louder and closer. Something reached in to Warambi's roost. She felt herself being gathered up and wrapped in soft darkness. A sound like thunder rumbled all around her and her heart fluttered with fear. After a long time, the thunder stopped. Warambi was carried into the warm night air. She could smell eucalyptus leaves and damp earth. Somewhere, high above, she heard the familiar squeak and squabble of other bats. Warambi snapped her wings open and she soared into the night sky. Up towards the welcoming calls of her new family.